This is me. This is Allie. We're dating, but there's eight years between us. So many of my 90s references go over her head. So this is the show where we bridge our cultural gap. This is Allie Hesant. Hey everybody, welcome back to Allie Hesant. Hello! Where we do things that Allie hasn't done before. <laughs> usually involving media. I'm Doug. And it's your girl, Allie! Today we're talking about The Legend of Zelda. We're gonna play A Link to the Past specifically, because this is the game that I grew up with and played the most. Uh, the original Legend of Zelda was on the original Nintendo. I played it a little bit as a kid, but I didn't own it, so I only played, like, some of it. Okay. I only recently beat it, like, within, like, the last few months, actually. <laughs> Congratulations. So it, it was actually, it, was, it felt pretty good. However, we're not gonna play the physical cartridge today. Today we're gonna play with the SNES Classic. Uh, a nifty little gizmo that my brother got me for my birthday. So that it gives us better picture quality and all that fun stuff. Any expectations or predictions about The Legend of Zelda? None other than hearing or myself going, yeah! Well then, let's get started. <laughs> well, let's find The Legend of Zelda. Uh, yeah, start scrolling. This is the nifty little menu. There it is, Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. <gasps> Wait. Start, let's see. Oh, okay. There we are. Hi. 1991-1992. Yes. It was a very good year. Not as good as 1994, though. There's some truth to that. In the beautiful kingdom of Hyrule, surrounded by mountains and forests. Did I just skip it? You did. You know what? You don't even you really need to know it. Gotcha. <laughs> so, uh... Ooh! How oh, long yeah. can my name be? Uh, yeah, it's more than... Yeah, you can fit in an alley. For sure. Here, yeah, there you go. Gotcha. Oh! It's like an RPG! Or is it an RPG? It's not an RPG. What? It's, it's, I think it's called a top down adventure game, is what the genre is. The, how do you pronounce that? Ag Agon Ag Agonim. Agonim. At least that's how I've been pronouncing it since like 1992. So I'm, I'm not sure. It could be pronounced wrong. Someone tell us! Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Ah, oh, it uses my name! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what if I put in like a really dirty word in? That would have been so funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? It's probably been done a million times. I'm going out for a while. I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. Oh, I'm leaving the house. Yeah, this, this game ends real short if you decide not to leave the house. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. I guess I'll just stay in bed. What's in this? How well, do I... You have to walk up to it and open it. How do I open it? Uh, press, uh, use a button. I am using buttons! Use oh, button. there it is. Okay, so it's A. <laughs> you can also pick up the pots in the corner. White pots. Beside your bed. Hey. Yeah, oh, they, it's just hearts. But right now you have full hearts, so it doesn't matter. But, you know, now you know you can lift things. Oh, cool! Where, who are those people? Um, these are knights. Uh, you can talk to them if you oh, want. Okay. Um, what are you doing up this late, kid? You can stay up when you're grown up. Now go home. How old am I supposed to be? You know, I don't actually know. I'd say maybe early teens, if I had to guess. You're supposed to be quite young. Right now, these guards are just kind of limiting the amount of exploring you can do. So you have to just kind of find your way around. So yeah, oh yeah, there you go, that's your map. So um, where am I trying to get to? Here? The X, yeah. Gotcha. Go home and get some sleep. Well then that was supposed to get in. Yeah, that's it. That's the end of the game. Oh, okay, well thanks for <laughs> Thanks for watching, Ali has it. <laughs> um, no, there's a way around the castle, so you actually have to, you do have to explore a little bit. What up? <laughs> yeah. Now, now, that actually does damage when you have, like, enemy guards later on. But at the moment, uh, those guys are, they have big shields, so I guess they're pretty well protected. And then you see there's other... Ta-da! Mm. Like magic. Uh, Allie, I didn't want you to get involved in this. I told you not to leave the house. Take my sword and shield and listen. You can focus power in the blade. Hold up your button. If you remember what he said about pressing B and holding it down too. I can what? I can what? What was that? That's your. If you press B and hold it down, that's. I. You know, I don't know what it's actually called. A spin attack, or I used to call it the sword trick. <laughs> What's this? 
Oh, uh, you have a lantern, but you need you need magic. So look through the pots. Maybe you can find something like that. There you go. That gives you magic. You can light it if you go up to it and press. I want to say why. Yeah. Cool. Hello. And now you have money. Come here. Oh, okay. Two hits. Two hits for the green guys. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Yay! Oh. Thank you. Hey, I totally got you. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad they give a lot of hearts because yeah. yeah, you gotta because you gotta conserve it. So yeah, the guys with the daggers don't charge you, but the other guys with the swords will. And you'll see the guys with the swords a lot more okay, often. Okay, so do you, any recommended um, way to go? You're gonna wanna just uh, yeah, look around the castle a little bit. Okay. Um, see if you can find any nifty items. <gasps> what the heck was that? Oh, that's no, that was your um your lantern. So what, are, what about the blue guys? What's the significance? Oh, um, the color of the guards represent like how much health they have. So, um, the green guys you can, you can kill in two shots. The blue guys, uh, three. And red guys, four. But I don't know if you'll see any red guys right now. They're frequent much further in the game. Uh, always check under pots because you, you never know when you'll find hearts. Like that. There's, there's usually something under a pot. <laughs> Oh, I'm just hitting his sword. Yeah. This is one of the things that I think I take for granted about Link to the Past and other Zelda games, is that the hit detection is pretty good. Like, there's the fact that, you know, things can hit your shield, you can have sword fights essentially. Yeah, you want to go down. Ooh, can I go here? Like, down here, that's what you mean? That's where you want to go. Gotcha. Oh man, I pushed him. Ooh, a key. A key. You got the map. <laughs> da, 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 da. How am I supposed to read this? Well, you know, these I gotta, not gonna lie, it's it's not the most simple. You're on B1. Everybody remember where we parked? Oh, you're heading in the back right now. <laughs> With your sword. There you go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I... Oh, by the way, you can also fall down. <laughs> uh, yeah, by the way, you're very close to dying. So, just just heads up. You gotta be careful. <laughs> you can send a continue. It's cool. <laughs> when the Zelda orchestra was in town, this was this song was um was played, and oh, it, was, was it? it was really cool to hear it like orchestral. Ah. Oh <laughs> okay, so the good news is you have your boomerang. Now this is a handy tool. Basically when you throw it at any of the villains and it hits them, it will stun them for a second. So it'll give you a chance to like strike them without retaliation. Oh, I like that. I like that already. It's like, <laughs> yeah. yes. it's like the equivalent of a flashbang. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Cut this. Cut uh, this. <laughs> well, I don't know. These are the best parts. <laughs> <laughs> you take a keyboard away from me, and I'm useless. Do you, do you not usually game with controllers? No. Really? It's what I started off with, but the majority of my gaming happens on a keyboard. So you take it away from me, and I'm not. And I'm and I'm pretty much useless. Oh, <laughs> 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 Whoops. Yep, wow, okay. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. Hello! Can you imagine someone happily going, Hello! before they kill you? Okay, now, uh, you're up against a sort of mini boss right now. Oh no! So, yeah, you know, all those have hearts, use them wisely, okay? So, watch out for this guy. He's got a, he's got a far reaching thing, and his, the sun doesn't work as long on him. Ah! <laughs> 
if you want, you can use those, uh, those... Ah! <laughs> those two, like, throw Hold on! Them. I got- I got a system! I got a system! Alright. But you may want to get <gasps> some of those herbs. Never mind, I thought I did! Oh my god! You missed. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going at all. <laughs> oh no! Do you want to take you back right back there real quick? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look at the sleepy. <laughs> we'll see how this is how we do, do it. it. <clears throat> this is how we do it. <laughs> nice. What? So I guess it must be really painful for you to watch me do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Allie, what are you doing? What? You can just do that? I'm... <laughs> oh god, why would you do this? He's all yours. Hey, you, yeah! got, you got full health. You can take him. You have a system you did have a system that was working. It's just, it'll take a little while. One shot, one kill. Oh, snap! Nope, nope, nope. You're almost there. You almost got him. Oh, there. Woo! I got it! <laughs> you did. You did it. Hello! Thank you, Allie. <laughs> I feel the worst for my father. The wizard is an inhuman <laughs> fiend. You got some money! <laughs> Okay, where am I going? Uh, we're gonna backtrack a bit, a bit up to the castle, basically. Okay. Luckily, you've uh, you've eliminated most of the foes already, so that's nice. Well, I mean, you were the one who had to bring me here again, remember? Uh, so yes, by by you eliminating the foes, I meant I I eliminated the foes. Yeah. Hey, look at that! You found you found the path. I didn't have to direct you. Uh, eh? You can jump down. Oh, okay. Ooh, you can get up the hearts from the, the things. Ah! Oh god! Oh god! No! Oh. <laughs> Let's see where you start. Oh. So I recommend just getting out of there as fast as you can. Okay, yeah, you're gonna just... Yeah, you're gonna... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those guys don't even charge you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no! Wait, where am I supposed to go again? Go up, go up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ali would go. No, 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 no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you can fight them or you can just go straight ahead. There you go. Where am I headed to? Is that like a throne? The ornament shelf should open. Do you have a light? It's a secret passageway. Of course it is. National treasure! What is this? Huh? Should I, should I be afraid? What is that? It's a rat. Are they bad? Yeah, they'll hurt you. They mostly mind their own business, but yeah, you'll probably have to kill some as you go. Luckily, the rats don't do that much harm. They're, they're not they're not too bad. It's the snakes you gotta watch out for. Because apparently this uh, castle has a snake infestation? Why aren't the snakes eliminating the rats? That's what I want to know. Maybe they have been. There's just that many rats. Woohoo! You got a key! I got a key! I want- Oh! Shit. Okay, mm. what is this? water. You can actually walk in. It's very shallow. Oh. But the rats can't, so that puts you at an advantage. Oh gosh, you know what this reminds me of? Uh, this old arcade game called Chips. Chips. You know, that's that's gonna be something that you're gonna have to play. That's right. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Ah, snap! I'm so used to hitting Y because I'm used to that being X on the PS3 controller. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Slash PS4 controller. Sorry. <laughs> so, oh, why are you apologizing? 
forgot to tell you that I'm the one who designed the Super Nintendo. Ah, it makes so much sense. And, hey, I found a key! And I designed it to be contrary to the PlayStation controller, so. The PS3, you said? Yeah. Yeah, especially PS3. Especially. <laughs> what is this? Oh! What? Cool. There you go. Oh my god! I'm gonna die by mice. Rats. Rats. You have to pull the lever to open the door. So, you grab it and then you pull back. There you go. Interesting. Princess Zelda, you are safe! Is this your doing, Ally? Uh, there's a treasure chest. Uh, oh! You got a heart! <laughs> yeah, you get another heart. So basically through the game, you'll gather more and more heart containers. As nice! Go. And then by the end of it, you'll have like two rows of a bunch of them. That's awesome. So actually, that was all I had planned for us to do. Oh, that was it! <laughs> I, I saved the princess and bring her to the sanctuary. Yay! Because any more than that, it'll just get too long and involved. So, then let's uh, let's talk about it. Let's review it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay. Well, Al, you played Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. We finished the first mission, which is to rescue the princess, bring her to the sanctuary, and you you did it. Yeah, I did. It cost you a few lives, but you got there in the end. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, I need to play this game. Well, one, it's a lot more entertaining than I thought it was gonna be. It's so cute. So I'm gonna be playing this a lot more after the video. In addition to this being fun, it's mostly because I really need to prove to you I can learn how to play this console and not just stick to my ways of being PC and PlayStation. The game kind of gets, it, it both gets harder and easier as it goes mm -hmm. because the bad guys get harder but you get more powerful. Yeah. So it kind of, it, it, it works out. I'd like it, to say that, um... Keeps a good steady challenge. A lot of video games do that. I guess so. <laughs> I guess that's just saying. an accurate statement. I think what the best part is that you guys you get more hearts. It just that's what, that's the big difference is that like the battles get more interesting because then you don't have to conserve health so much. Mm -hmm. Any uh, first impressions? A not not a lot of yeah. Then... No, that's that's um, something that happens more uh, as it gets into the Nintendo 64. Then you know they they really use more sound bites and stuff ah, like that. So gotcha. yeah, the, the, the yeah! is definitely uh, Ocarina of Time forward thing. Ah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so sorry, this is, this this predates that. I didn't want to disappoint you at the beginning. I thought maybe you wouldn't play it. I just had one expectation. <laughs> what? One. Can you I guess see the why the franchise of Legend of Zelda caught on? <laughs> it's so it's okay. It's fun. It's adventurous. It's adorable. Everything's so cute and chubby. <laughs> I love it. If I can throw bushes at people. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a, very, it's a very important skill to have. <laughs> the more items you get, the, the, like, it gets really, it really gets really fun. <laughs> you think the boomerang's good? You get like a. I like the boomerang. It's, That's it's, so helpful. It gets even better than that. Once I stop mixing up, what is it? Y and X. Wait, is it X? No, B. Y and B. Yeah. It becomes second nature after a while. It just kind of. Uh, yeah. Your fingers just kind of, they learn the way. Yeah, don't worry. You should have seen the first time I ever played a video game. Or um, or the first time I actually took it seriously when I was uh, playing Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2. And just, <laughs> it's like the characters who are staring up like this the whole time. And What's going about it? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, significant. Uh, things that Zelda brought to the table. Yes. As far as legacy goes, one of the, I think the very first Zelda game was the first game to have a save feature, so you could actually save your progress. And I feel like that's like the biggest landmark that Zelda made for the. Uh... I'm so glad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> could you imagine trying to finish large games without any save features? Ugh. The original Zelda was too big for it to be at all reasonable for people to sit down and beat it in one sitting. Mm, that's fair. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Ali now has played The Legend of Zelda. So please, everybody, give us a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to Moving Pictures already. Let us know your favorite Zelda memories 
in the comments down below because we would love to hear it. This is a beloved franchise. It seems like almost everyone has a great like history with The Legend of Zelda. Except um, for me. Well, now, now you do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down a different route for the next episode. We're going to get Allie to try out Pogs. I have no idea what that is. We've been joined by cats. Didn't even see that for some reason. Mm, oh, come on, really?